And on the latest news poll, prior to the vote, 84% of coalition voters opposed the voice. I made the point that we elect people to our parliaments to represent us. We surely don't elect people to go to Canberra to then please themselves. Yet in the voice campaign, we had Liberal representatives running a secret campaign to frustrate grassroots members, and indeed the leader, Peter Dutton, frustrate members from voting no. And as I said in New South Wales, these Liberals purporting to represent an electorate actually blocked postal vote applications in order to starve voters of information on the no campaign. And remember, I named those New South Wales Liberal members of parliament who were voting yes, backing a divisive, risky and permanent voice in defiance of the proven will of the electorate and, of course, of the wider constituency. And I asked not unreasonably whether these so-called Liberal members should have their pre-selection withdrawn if they are not prepared by their vote to represent the will of their electorate, which is what they're elected to do. And of course, they were way out of step. So the other reason you wouldn't have them back, their judgment is crook. Their ideology is crook. Well, in Tasmania, you have the Liberal MP for Bass, Bridget Archer, almost making voting against the Liberal Party an art form. She regularly crosses the floor. She supported the voice to Parliament. She has made critical public comments about the leader, Peter Dutton. Yet she then says she's a proud member of the Liberal Party. Now, if she wants to remain a proud member of the Liberal Party, there are many forums in which she can express her views and argue her case. But that's entirely different from pleasing herself as to how she votes in the Parliament and how she treats her leader. She is elected to represent her electorate. She was an outspoken advocate for The Voice. She voted yes, but only 38% of her Bass electorate voted yes. So how can she stand up and ask to be elected to represent her people when she plainly hasn't? The Liberals need a new candidate, not just in Bass, but candidates everywhere who represent the views of the electorate. After all, that's the definition of democracy, the government of the people by the people or by representatives of the people. These Liberals who think their election to Parliament is a free ride to please themselves are demonstrating utter contempt for the electorate that put them there. Think about it. Worth contemplating, isn't it? That's it from me this week.